Oh, me again. How you doing? Man? We're thinking about buying a gun. What do you guys think? Good idea? Bad idea? Yeah. No? And I'm a little worried about it. I realize I have like the same worries about buying a gun as I do about buying like a dildo. Because <laughs> I know with enough sad, lonely nights, I'm probably going to turn on myself. <laughs> All right, we're getting started. I like sober people. Uh, I, I, I'm not really addicted to... Well, I, I'm going to... I'm not really an alcoholic. I'm still in the closet. I'm a practicing. I'm not practicing. I'll, I'll, I'll be here next year. Just very, very clean cut and yeah. Uh, there, there's my NBC right there. I did. I did quit smoking though. I smoked for ten years and I quit smoking for my health. And uh, I immediately gained fifty pounds, which I still have not entirely lost a lot of. You know, most people quit smoking so they live to see their grandkids, and my gut got so big that I couldn't get the sex to make their parents. <laughs> now who will care for me when I'm old and tell me when I'm racist? You know, I think that is like the unsung role of grandchildren is to tell grandparents when they become racist. And it's all of us. Life is long. You get married, you're not out there in the world, you're not paying attention, your woke level goes down. Next thing you know, it's Thanksgiving 2046, and you have a few too many, and start going off on how the robot werewolf Muslims are ruining this goddamn country. <laughs> you might be looking at you like you're a monster. Uh, my dad was pretty racist. Uh, he died young. I, I, he, I think he knew if he wanted to get in on that sweet racism, he had to hurry up, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. It's very strange when somebody you love is racist and they die, because like, you ever have that thing where like, say like your grandma dies and then you smell like apple pie and like, oh, Thanksgiving grandmas, or you hear a song and you remember your dumb friend who jumped off the bridge on the prom night. It's really weird having a racist dad and now getting warm fuzzies whenever I hear casual racism out of the world. It's not funny. Just saying, if they're so afraid of the cops, why don't they just do what they say? And the cats and the cats and the cats and the cats. I did have a really cool dad. Uh, anybody else here have a cool dad? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, everybody here had a cool dad because a cool dad is like, yeah, they're not a lot of fun, but they're terrible fucking fathers. <laughs> Nobody got here having too much hugs and support. I know that. <laughs> Look at it. My, my dad told me when uh, I was 12 that he was pretty sure he killed a guy in a bar fight when he was in his 20s. Yeah, that's a very weird thing to tell him. A 12 year old, but uh, I, I asked him how he felt about that, and he said, Okay, I probably took a life, but like I had you, so even Stevens? <laughs> yes, that's, that's the kind of garbage I come from. It's equating child rearing and murder as like take a penalty of a pen. I never knew what my dad could work when I was a kid. This is true. I only found out last summer, like nine years after he died. My entire youth, my dad was making meth for the pagans. <laughs> now, the pagans, if you don't know, they're a men's auxiliary. They set up charity basketball games. <laughs> or they might be Nazis on motorcycles, I don't know. But yeah, uh, I'm actually overplaying that a little bit. Uh, he didn't make meth for them, he made crank, the RC Cola. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. meth is made by scientists in labs, as if the good Lord didn't give you a bathtub, you know? <laughs> I'm a little bit upset he died. I would like to have gotten into the family business, you know, Draymond Sons quality crack. But <laughs> he, wanted, he wanted to be buried with the recipe like Colonel Sanders, though, so that, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> okay, this is uncomfortable. It's okay. Uh, anybody do the online dating bullshit? Yeah. yeah. Me too. Me too. I have to. I, I look like this. I need, like, state of the art technology if I have any to get laid. There are engineers working around the clock. Uh, I have a lot of trouble. I have a lot of trouble getting the photos, just because, frankly, like that's just not far enough away to hide all the damage. And I try to get my friends to take photos of me, which is a very fun thing to ask a 32-year-old man asking me photos. Like, hey, can you just like capture my kind eyes? I thought my friends were horrible photographers. I just accepted now that I'm ugly from every angle. Everybody has an angle they think they look up flattering from. Mine is the third dimension. I look at it this way. I have the sexual confidence of like a flat earther. Like, I think I'm perfectly fuckable. But it's only in spite of a mountain of evidence the world throws at me every day. And a few unstable weirdos online help me keep the lie alive a little bit longer. 
doing a lot of dating, I realized that I do definitely have a type. Uh, I realized every girl I've ever dated has had two things in common. They have been bisexual, and they've had suicide attempt scars. So now I'm committed. I can uh, let you on a little adventure. This is a true story that's happened last year. I went out on a date with a very cute, very charming homeless girl. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, they have like those low income government phones you can get, those Obama phones. You can get dating apps on <laughs> so it all took a zero. Yo, thanks Obama. That's great. Obama hooked me up with a homeless blow job. That is that is something like that. Any any economist will tell you that's a sign of a bull market right there. Trump didn't hook me up with none of that. Trump believes in trickle down pussy economics. That doesn't matter. Looks like grandma for himself, not give any back to the 99 percent So uh that story has a sad ending. Uh, who would have thought a homeless blowjob happened ever after? No. Um, she stopped texting me back. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you've heard a few rock bottoms. That, 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 that's a bad one right there. I kind of just hope she died. Not, no, not that, I, no, not that I want anything bad to happen to her. Just for my own self-esteem. Like, no, she didn't decide she could do better than you. She just, she used to roll a nickel into an open manhole one day. <laughs> Went to home as heaven, you know? Where the angels are free with pocket change, and dads are way more mellow about that TV you stole, you know? Paradise, paradise. I did mention Trump back there, and I, uh, I don't know what anyone's politics are here, but I do have a question that I've been thinking lately. Do you think Donald Trump has a big dick? <laughs> I don't cool. think that he is a big dick. <laughs> I think he, there's no way he has a big dick because he's a very impulsive guy. He can't help himself. If he had a big one, it would be on the $5 bill by right now. <laughs> Not all at once either. You can't just slam a dick on a fiber. Like, just, just one pressing suddenly, you're like, what's that creeping in on the left? <laughs> three, months, three months later, all on his name, saying a fat one to the head for the second time. <laughs> I will say, I think I know exactly what Hillary Clinton's vagina looks like. <laughs> Logically, think about it. What do you imagine for an older woman? Clean shaven. Hillary Clinton's vagina, clean shaven. Because if there's one thing that Clinton hates, it's a bush. <laughs> oh, God. I love talking about genitals. Let's keep going. It sounds good. It sounds good. Uh, anybody here circumcised? I'm circumcised. This is a thing. Round of applause if you're circumcised. Okay. Okay. I'm very glad none of the women are clapping. Got uh, <laughs> a big Somali crowd here tonight. It's a very serious issue, Tyler and Dick Joe. I'm sorry about that. I am circumcised, and I wish I wasn't, just because, like, there's sensitivity. I can't finish sometimes, you know? And it turns out it's because the head's supposed to be protected and not just rubbing against Adam for 30 years, you know? <laughs> it's like a hobo's knapsack that's been drunk across the desert floor. <laughs> And I see, like, in porn right now, uncut penises are, like, very, very in, and they look nothing like mine, they're, they're alien to me, like, In these videos, like, you see, like, the, the skin pulled back, and the head is all, like, glistening and gooey and shiny, like, like the sun beating off a dolphin as it leaps out of the city. Not mine, no, the head of my thing is just discolored and callous, like... 